I'm looking forward to seeing Dominic White's work. He's an artist who works with Balak Arts, which is an Indigenous artists um, group here on the peninsula. And he has taken the hooded plover as his focus. And the hooded plover is a, is a residential shorebird. It's not migratory, but it is our most endangered, res, resid, endangered resident shorebird. And he made what he calls a hooded plover empathy suit. So he's made out of a wicker um, framework, a suit that he put on and then he got a friend who's a professional photographer to photograph him on the beach being a hooded plover. And it's wonderful because it's very sort of comical and generous, but quite deeply empathetic about being in the shoes of this or the wings <laughs> of this tiny little creature um, that shares our shores. And I guess lifting it up to being human size uh, is just a way of focusing our attention on it in a different way. Um, so I'm excited about that. And um, Heather Hesterman is a wonderful uh, Melbourne based artist who's a printmaker originally, but she studied horticulture and she's actually gonna have plants in the gallery from um, one of the special things about Western Port is that it's a Ramsar site. And one of the things that the exhibition is celebrating is that this is the 50th year of the Ramsar Convention. Um, the Ramsar Convention is the only international treaty to preserve one habitat type. And it's the international treaty pr to preserve wetlands of international significance. And Western Port is a Ramsar site, so it is a wetland of international significance. And Heather's tried to source plants from the other countries that are signatories to the Ramsar Convention that are along the flyway, the route that the birds fly. Um, and she's gonna be setting them up in the gallery space. So I think having that, you can't bring the birds physically into the space, but I think having the beautiful prints of the portfolio and actual like living plants of their habitat will be really exciting.